Okay, the oil's old. It's been on for another couple of hours. And you can look in there, you can see it's bubbly. That's like a watching water simmer. You can see all the hot... Ooh, it's not a hydrogen and sulfur. That's working very well. Pretty interesting how you see how these batteries work. When it settles down, I'll give you a look inside the cells of this battery. You see through there, you see that, um, how the cell construction of this is greatly different from one of these. This just has what looks like bits of wood and fiberglass to um, insulate them, compared to just lead and plates in this one. Yeah, she's bubbling up pretty nicely in there. She's a, yeah, a little bit warm. The battery here went down to um, 6 volts and that stopped charging. So I had to top this up for about 20 minutes. Back up to 8 volts and yeah, finish this batch here off. Give this another hour or two and this batch will be flat again and this should be full, so. So yeah, but this little experiment does actually work. I don't, even, I don't have a 6 volt charger, so I'm just using this battery that only holds 8 volts to charge this battery here. So I get one little good battery out of two, um, or out of two. Yeah. So come on, useful for some little projects. Don't know how much amp power it is though. There's two A, so probably two amp hours or something like that. I don't know. It's a pretty tiny little thing. Taiwan, the US, Apache Co Limited, made in Taiwan. It's pretty, yeah. So you can see that hydrogen pouring out. That's cooking, not literally cooking, but you know, looks like water simmering. That's charging very well. All three cells are equally charged, so this battery's in good nick. There wasn't much damage inside that battery, so. Bit rainy today, so. It's actually cooled down a little bit, so yeah. Might be a storm tonight. So I keep monitoring this and yeah, do a voltage check here, the multimeter out, see how much um, volts the battery went down. Would have dropped a bit. The battery's pretty unhealthy. Oh, come here. Can't get the damn things. Yeah, it's dropped down. 8.21 volts already. Had, had 12.08. Oh that 10 seconds and dropped down to 8 volts. So yeah, it'll retain 8 volts. And then it will drop down to about 6 in about an hour or two of, ch of charging this one. So it's working. So yeah. Okay, the oil's old. It's been an hour, an hour or two late, later. The batteries are, uh, yeah, not bubbling up as much. You can see the um, construction of the cells on this type of battery. Which, yeah, this camera doesn't have a very good zooming quality. But yeah, the plates are pretty considerably different in these little ones. Got those brown things, which looks like this sort of, um, uh, they look like MDF port or something like that, or hard masonite. And on the end, it's like a um, sheet of fiberglass. You can just see it as a um, fluid clears up, but the camera can't pick it up. This battery might be full anyway now, so... Yeah, this battery's dropped down to 7.0 volts, so... Yeah, I think it's just about full, it's nearly stopped, so... But it takes it off before it starts to drain it. We'll give it a voltage check and we'll see how it is. Take it inside. Yeah, get the bet uh, the um multimeter and we'll see how voltage we got. There we go. Yeah. Stupid thing gets all tangled up. Hate this with multimeters, if it bleeds tangled up. I'm gonna go there. If I can get it to reach that. Stay there, will ya? Damn it, stay. 
There we go, 6.17 volts. Got a bad connection. Oh, this damn thing's not on properly. Stay, will ya? 6.17 volts. Yeah. Battery's full. I don't know what the maximum recharge voltage of these will be, but probably be 7.2 or something like that. But yeah, either way, it's close enough to being fully charged. But yeah, which is done. This will come useful for little projects now, so that's how um yeah, the experiment worked out charging one of these batteries at a half dead car battery, so yeah, it works. So yeah, thanks for watching.